With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello, the problem states that an external pressure P is applied on a cube at 0 degree Celsius so that it is equally compressed from all the sides. K is the bulk modulus of the material of the cube and alpha is the coefficient of linear expansion. Suppose we want to bring the cube to its original size by heating. Now we have to find the temperature should be raised by water mode. Let's understand the concept. So we are given with an isotropic cube and if an external pressure P is applied to it. Initially its temperature is 0 degree Celsius. Right. So now let's say some external pressure is applied. So we can use the definition of bulk modulus beta is given by minus of delta P divided by delta V by V which is normal stress upon volumetric strain. So on the application of the pressure P it is equally compressed on all the sides. So can we find the value of and since here volume is compressed so that means delta v by v will be negative so beta will be written as delta p divided by delta v by v right because delta v value is negative so minus and minus will be positive so from here uh, can we find the value of delta v by v which is the volumetric strain so that is delta p divided by beta. Now in this problem pressure applied is given to us as P and the value of bulk modulus is given to us as K. So that becomes delta V by V or volumetric strain. Okay. Now if we are increasing the temperature so as we know the change in side is given by L0 alpha delta theta okay delta l is the change in uh, length of one side if this is l is equals to l naught into alpha delta theta similarly the volume change can be written as delta v equals to v naught that is 3 alpha into delta theta right coefficient of volume expansion is given by 3 times of the coefficient of linear expansion so delta v by v becomes what 3 alpha delta theta so we can equate these two values so from here p by k is equals to 3 alpha delta theta so since we had to find the change in temperature delta theta will become p divided by 3 k alpha okay this is what the increase in temperature will be which is given to us in the option b I hope this helps you with the answer. Thank you. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.